I've been on the ocean as long as I can remember. I started sailing when I was about five in an Optimist, a tiny little bathtub of a boat, and then started racing as a teenager and spent so much of my teenage years out there on the water. And it wasn't until I was 21 that I got the opportunity to get on board Earthrace, this amazing biofueled powerboat, and take that boat around the world as part of a biofuel campaign. I was woken up in the middle of the night by a thud on the hull of our boat and came up on deck to find that we were surrounded by pieces of plastic in the ocean and we were over a thousand miles from nearest land, the closest people to us being in the space station in orbit above our heads and I found it so bizarre that there was this evidence of human life and waste in the water all around us. And it was that experience that got me asking more questions, wanting to know why there was this plastic in the ocean, where was it coming from, and how was it traveling thousands of miles to this remote place? So something that we can all do for plastic is reduce the amount of single-use plastic that we use in our daily lives. So whether it's a plastic bag or a bottle, something that you're only using for 10 minutes or maybe for an hour, just take a look at it and think, is that something that I really need? Can I get through the next 10 minutes without it? And if the answer is yes, then don't use it. And if we can change the way products are packaged and the way companies actually make and design the products that we all use, then that's gonna make it much easier for us as consumers to make the right choices as well. So we are looking really closely at the ocean. We're trying to find out what are these great big changes that are happening and ultimately, how can we solve it?